All right, so in this lesson, we're going to be talking about the Fibonacci retracement tool. This is something that we're actually going to be using all the time. Fibonacci retracement tool is something that the strategies are built on. It's something that we're going to be using in our analysis every single day. It's something that we're going to be using for planning our entries, planning our stop losses, and even planning our targets, which will be the second part of this lesson, the Fibonacci extension tool. So in this area, in this lesson, we're actually focusing on the Fibonacci retracement. Fibonacci retracement measures the pullback. So in the previous lesson, if you guys recall, we talked about a trending market and within that trending market, we have runs, a pullback, run, a pullback, right? So a Fibonacci retracement tool, as you guys will soon see on the chart, actually measures that pullback. It's very interesting. And something interesting about the Fibonacci, Fibonacci number itself I highly suggest that you guys Google this. Google the Fibonacci number, the Fibonacci sequence, the golden ratio. This is something that is present on the charts and the market and in nature, in math mathematicals. It's something that is literally everywhere. And because it's everywhere and because it's in nature, our body even is built based on the Fibonacci sequence itself, right? And if nature is built on the Fibonacci sequence, it makes sense that the charts are also reflecting the Fibonacci sequence themselves. So this is going to be very interesting and very eye-opening. And again, this is one of the final pieces to building your analysis. And like I said, this is something that we'll be using every single day for everything. So with that said, let's have a look. All right. So the first thing that we'll actually do here is I'll show you exactly what the Fibonacci tool is and how to set it up. So right away, I have my keyboard shortcut here, but you guys have this in trading view as well. We've set it up in one of the initial lessons and this is what it looks like. So this is the Fibonacci tool itself. I'm just going to double click it and go over the numbers with you because the numbers are the most important here. So if you look at the chart and if we look at the actual numbers here, so 0 0.382, this number right here, that is one of the major Fibonacci numbers. We want that to be reflected within our tool itself. I don't care about the other ones. We have 0 0.25, 0 0.48. To me, those are not major. I never use them, I never will. But I will be using 0 0.382 all the time. The next one is 0 0.5. That's just the middle ground between one point, point A and point B. You guys will see that very shortly. And then 0 0.618, 0 0.618, that is the major golden number. So we definitely want to have that within our tool. So the main numbers that we want to be focusing on are 0 0.382, 0 0.5, and 0 0.618. Now I also have this zero marked in because you can see that on the chart is just the bottom. That is where the Fibonacci tool starts. And 1.0 is where the Fibonacci tool ends. That is the top right there. And the last one is 0 0.75. This right here, toss it into your charts right now, just for now. And we'll actually be using 0 0.75 more for stop placement later in the strategy lessons. But just for setting up this tool, these are the major numbers that we want to be focusing on. These are the numbers that we want the tool to actually reflect. So 0 0.0, 0 0.382, 0 0.5, 0 0.618, 0 0.75 and 1.0. So that's it. That is it for the settings. And you'll notice that I always have the same consistent kind of colors. So pick whatever color that you guys want. But again, for me, this reddish type of color, that is 0 0.382. This purple type of color is 0 0.5. Green is 0 0.618. And I always just have 0 0.75 as this dotted line. So let me delete that. And I'll show you exactly how to draw the Fibonacci retracement tool. So we'll zoom in here on this price action, piece of price action right here. So you can see over here, we had a little small little range. Price action was just moving sideways for a couple of weeks and then we broke that range, right? So lower low, lower high, pull back to the daily 50 MA. Do we have some resistance there? Let's toss it in. Previous low, what was one support, became resistance. So we have a little bit of resistance there, the daily 50 and horizontal. So now the Fibonacci retracement is always measured from the recent high, like we have it here, to the recent low. 
okay so like that recent high to the recent low so we're measuring the entire run okay so this is important the fibonacci retracement measures the run so we measured the run from the from the recent high to the recent low if it's a bearish run or if it's a bullish run in the opposite direction we'll measure it from the recent low to the recent high okay in this case this is a bearish run a bearish trend is potentially developing so we're measuring it from the recent high to the recent low and this is what it looks like and it gives us 0 0.382 0 0.5 0 0.618 from experience and based on the strategies that I have built and everything else, how we do our analysis and so on, 0 0.382 is one of the most significant numbers. And notice that majority of these pullbacks, right? We have runs and then pullbacks. Majority of these pullbacks actually go up to 0 0.382. So this Fibonacci tool just measures that pullback. Remember that it measures the pullback and you can see 0 0.382 lines up beautifully for some reason with the daily 50 EMA, right? And after that, if we fast forward, it rejects that level and starts a new run, right? So this just measured a perfect pullback. Fibonacci retracement here measured the, how far or how deep that pullback will actually go. All right, so looking at this chart right here, this is actually a bullish run. So a new bullish trend is developing. So we're going to measure the Fibonacci retracement in the opposite direction to the upside, right? So you can see here quickly on the chart that we were trending downwards, making lower lows, lower highs, lower low, lower high, lower low, lower high, lower low, and then this big breakout to the upside, right? So now I want to figure out how deep will this pullback potentially go? So Fibonacci retracement from the low, from the recent major low, measuring that entire run to the, to the recent high. And then you can see beautifully that again, price action pulled back to 0 0.382, right? Which is that major Fibonacci retracement number that I mainly focus on. And then rejected this, this level beautifully, it decelerated, right? So check it out on the price action here. It decelerated, inside bar, low test, explosion to the upside rejection right and then it went up from there so this is another example of utilizing the fibonacci retracement tool here on the chart let me show you one more okay so in this case we have another example of a bearish run and then a pullback so let's look at the chart here and right away we can see that price action already pulled back to the daily 50 ma and in this case we also have horizontal support and resistance a lot of the times i'm going to jump back a little bit a lot of times when we actually start measuring the Fibonacci, it's typically when we know a pullback has just begun, right? So that is when we truly start measuring the retracement is when we know the pullback is now coming, right? Because when it's still accelerating to the downside, I mean, it's pointless to pick the pullback unless we actually know the pullback's already developing. So in this case, we already know the pullback is developing. It's obviously moving upwards with quite a bit of momentum. So at this point, I would take my Fibonacci tool and figure out where and how far could it potentially go because from experience again and from nature again fibonacci is something that's all over nature it's within our body it's just everywhere and because it's everywhere the charts are just a reflection of human psychology and because fibonacci is everywhere in nature it obviously makes sense that it's within our psychology as well and the charts trading right these if you if you think about it a little bit when you're trading, when you're placing an entry long or short, you're taking a trade to the upside or a trade to the downside, whether it's the Forex market, the stock market or the cryptocurrency market, everybody's doing the same thing. They're taking a trade to the upside or to the downside. So that is the market itself is built on human psychology. That is why the Fibonacci sequence works. That is why the Fibonacci retracement works so well. Right, because the market is is a natural breathing thing that develops based on human psychology, right? And since Fibonacci is present everywhere in nature, it's present on the chart as well. So check it out. Right here, we going to measure the Fibonacci retracement and plots itself again around that daily 50 MA. And in this area, we also have a little bit of support and resistance. The previous low, the previous high, the previous low over here. So we get horizontal support and resistance. And we have the daily 50 MA. And at the same time, we have this new potential bearish trend that developed, or at least a big bearish run, right? We broke the previous lows and we just accelerated, kept on going, kept on going, kept on going. 
and then now finally a pullback is developing. So we measure the Fibonacci retracement tool. I'll do it again from the recent high, measuring that entire run to the recent low, and then plots the Fibonacci right here. So I'm expecting that this is going to pull back right there. It's going to decelerate, reject with a bearish candlestick formation, and then I'll take a trade to the downside, right? That's the idea here. So I want to be waiting for that pullback, and you can see here, price action pullback, and starts to reject that level with a tweezer top, actually. So if we zoom in, look at the candlestick formation, acceleration to the upside, deceleration, high test, bearish high test, tweezer top, rejecting 0 0.382 Fibonacci, horizontal support and resistance, the daily 50 MA. At this point, I would be interested in a short trade. So, trade to the downside. Beautiful retracement, another great example of what the Fibonacci tool actually looks like and what it does here. So that is it for this lesson, guys. We had a look at a few examples of what the Fibonacci retracement tool does. It's very, very, very powerful, as you guys can already see. It beautifully measures these pullbacks in price. So we have the run, and then the Fibonacci retracement measures the pullback. And we need to know where that potential pullback will end, right? And that is typically 0 0.382. Now, we're going to dig much deeper into the Fibonacci as we go on in a, almost in every single lesson because Fibonacci is something that we will be using all the time on our higher time from analysis when we're placing the trades within our strategies and so on so that is it for now in the next lesson we're going to come back to these examples and I'll actually show you again what the Fibonacci extension does so we'll play around with the Fibonacci retracement a little bit but we'll mainly focus on the Fibonacci extension which is a little bit different because it measures the run Fibonacci retracement measures the pullback. Fibonacci extension measures the run. So that is it for now. I'll see you in the next one.